And I was thoroughly charmed with that character, and I hope to heaven that they do put it in the fall lineup. Yeah, if they don't put it in the fall lineup, they'll put it, you know, as a replacement somewhere along the line. Yeah. Is Richie a sort of an extension of yourself, or are you two entirely different personalities? Neither. Oh, it's... Uh, <laughs> Could you explain that? <laughs> it's just part, you know, it's a character, and there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of me in it, and then there's a lot of stuff that I do that isn't me. You know, and uh, one of the reasons they got me was because it was a lot like the character. You know? But he goes, you know, way beyond. The, well, he wants to be the best private eye ever. I want to be the best actor, you know. And uh, he is an incredible con artist. You know? And he thinks that he can talk his way out of any situation when they have a gun on him or something. And uh, as it turns out, sometimes he can't, you know. Do you think that any people were, I don't want to say turned off, but maybe skeptical uh, because Richie is so young? Is that something that you fight when you try to work with the character? Oh, no, that's the part of the show, you know, that, that nobody wants to hire him. Is that what you mean? Yeah, but the fact that even when he's uh, doing his thing and allowed to do it or goes off and does it on his own, that some people might just uh, not accept in the credibility. Oh, no, I, I never thought of that. Well, good. She's ruined the, she's ruined the show for me. No, not so much fun doing the show. No, it's the part of the show is that the criminals don't accept that he's actually going to be a threat to them. And the cops, you know, kind of, you know, he's just running off again. And, and the clients, you know, are their death. He's the last guy they ever go to. You know, so that's the, uh, the charm of it. Or it's part of the charm of it. What is your background as an actor? Uh, I was in uh, New York for you know a few years working, studying, starving, and then uh, I got to play my first actual job. And the theater burned down, so uh, they brought the play out to L.A. and I came out leaving New York in a blizzard. And I came out to here and I said, "Holy mackerel! I'm starving in New York on the beach." <laughs> So I came out here and, and I've been doing, I started out, you know, doing little parts and working in, still working in plays all the time and moved into my current level of media. And what was the stepping stone to do cheap? Is that a new way to audition? <laughs> Did you, uh, uh, Vincent, I'm married into the Van Patten family. Yes, you have talked with Vincent. Right, and I'm married to his aunt, so I'm his uncle. And uh, uh, my brother-in-law, Dick Van Patten, who's got his own show, is, uh, was playing the tennis court, and I got to be playing at the tennis court, and I met the producers of the show about five years ago, and finally they said, we got a script that you might be ready for. Thanks a lot, which everybody says. And suddenly, after three long years, it's going to go from the air. Patience pays off. It's in a good backhand, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, if this blows up, maybe you can go into pro tennis. Yeah, well, there's not much chance of that. I think I'm a better actor than I am. Too. We wish you the best of luck. Oh, thanks a lot. And thanks for talking with us okay. here today. Bye. Thanks for talking with us here today.